G'day and welcome to this Maths Town tutorial on the KF Movie Maker plugin. The goal of this video is to create and export a simple video. In the last video we exported a Mandelbrot fractal sequence from Callus Fractala. In the folder we now have JPEG images and KFB files. The KFB files contain the data. Remember that it's important to set the zoom size to 2 when using this plugin. In After Effects we're going to create a new composition We'll give it a name and make sure that the size is the same as the data that you exported from Callus Fractala. I think that fractal videos look best at 60 frames per second. Layer, New Solid, and we'll call this one KF. Then we will apply our effect to the solid. Under the effects controls, click browse. Find the KFR file that we exported earlier. You will see that After Effects has now loaded the first image of the sequence. We can change the keyframe value here to view a different image. At the moment our video is not animated. If we exported the video we'd just have a still frame. So the first thing we need to do is animate the zoom. Our first task is to decide how long we want the video to be. If we open this keyframe drop down you can see that the slider value shows how many frames we exported earlier. In this case 732. A good starting speed for the video is 1.5 seconds per keyframe. So 7.32 times 1.5 is over a thousand seconds. Divide that by 60 and we get 18 minutes or just over 18 minutes for our video. I'll go to composition settings and change the duration to 19 minutes. Next we need to animate the zoom by setting some keyframes. I'll move the timeline to about 3 seconds into the video. You can use this slider to zoom in on the time. To begin placing keyframes, press the stopwatch. I'm going to begin on frame 4. Next, go all the way to the end of the video. I'm going to place a keyframe 20 seconds from the end. Click the Add Keyframe button. Slide the keyframe value all the way over to the last frame, 732. Now our video is fully animated and it will play at a constant rate. I'm going to add some music which I've downloaded from Epidemic Sound. You can just drag the music in as new layers. In this case I might move the last keyframe so that the video finishes in time with the music. Make the composition a little shorter. Now's probably a good time to save the project. Okay, I've just zoomed in to align the music a little bit more accurately. Now it's time to export. When exporting from After Effects there's two options. You can export with the Media Encoder or directly with After Effects. The Media Encoder is the best option. Use After Effects directly if you just want a sequence of images. In this case we're going to use the Media Encoder. As you can see I have another job running, so it goes to the bottom of the queue. I've already set up presets with the settings that I like, but I'll show you through what's best. 
The best format for YouTube is H.264. Choose where you'd like to save the file. The other important setting is the bitrate. I use a bitrate of 75 for 4K footage and probably about 20 for 1080p. That's at 60 frames per second. This is well above the bitrate of YouTube and should create a very good quality video. Once you're done setting up, press play on the media encoder and your video will be exported. That's all for this video. You should now be able to export a fractal video using the plugin. In future videos, we'll look at the different settings. Please consider supporting this channel on Patreon.